ever since I was born, I've always loved art. Before now, you know, people were not like interested in anything art. Like if you see music wise, we in the visual art, you know, people started appreciating art generally. And I think it's really, really okay. Uh, they, 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 are, they are buying works now, though, because we have a lot of expatriates here. If you hold exhibitions, they come around and appreciate it and buy. Even Nigerians, a lot of these bourgeois, because painting is for bourgeois. You know, if you enter your house and there's no painting hanging on your wall, you think you don't belong. You understand? So that's why most people will buy because they go to their friends' houses and they see paintings hanging on the wall. You understand? And they want to buy because there are paintings on in, in their friends' houses. You understand? They don't even know why they are buying. It's when they visit the exhibitions and they see the price of work, they want to buy to sell. That was how they all started buying, uh, you understand, and selling. They now became a collector. Everybody does his own work his own way. The interpretation is based on individuals. Uh, I did a show in Leeds, in UK. I went for my friend's wedding. I took like five walks. I said, let me just go there and show them what, I'm, what I do. So I was looking for a framer. I went to London, I checked. It was expensive to just stretch a canvas. I had to visit a friend in Leeds. So the guy took me to his framer. I went, I got there, brought out my work or my works. There's an art, an art collector that came, a white man. His name is Paul Hist. He saw my works, very thick. He asked me, these works are so thick. Is it what, what, what medium? I said, it's oil. Really? How do you do it? I said, it's in pasto. You leave it for a while, it, it dries up, and you add more colors until the texture is thick, kind of. The guy checked it and asked me, how long does it take you to do a painting? I said, it depends on the team. For me, I just put colors. He asked me how much. I told him, you know, he asked me where I'm from. I, 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 I told him. I gave out, I brought out my my uh, brochures and all that and showed him. He was happy. He bought those five works. Before you say Jack Robinson, I came back to Nigeria. He called me again. I said he needs like 15. I had to go back to UK. I took 15 works to him. Then he bought the 15. <laughs> Art in Africa is booming now very, very well. They come from there and they come here, even if they visit Nigeria or any other places in Africa, they buy, they buy our carvings, our testers, at the rare tie and dye and all that. And they wear it, you understand? So it's Africa now, because they are not really doing much over there. If you see their paintings, whitewash, very flat and they go crazy about it they promote themselves but now they are coming down to africa and they are buying everything we have so the appreciation of uh, african art it's africa indeed and it's working well and there are paintings of of my works on instagram facebook and all that so I, I i try to market it through internet and when they see it they get to me through my email I just relax with my family. I love my family so much. I have uh, my wife and uh, three kids, Henry and Helen, and a booby. So we relax once in a while, we drive out, go to places of interest, go to beach, sit out, you know, drink, whatever they take, 
the girls, the kids take ice creams and all that. So we just listening to music, good music and all that, you know. So that's 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 the that's fun and that's how we relax. My selling point is me. Me in the sense that first my name, Emily K, it means that you don't do anything with power. I'm a gentleman, calm, study my environment, love people generally. And uh, I'm loving, I just love nature. I love God so much that uh, I believe I'm here for a purpose. In secondary school, I played hockey. I represented Bender State in hockey. I, uh, I play football. I play football. I was playing football. Then I do, like right now, I do a lot of uh, work. I do junkies, I jog a lot, you understand? So, with my family too, my wife, you know, the kids are, when they are out, I jog with my wife, you understand? To keep body and soul together. I don't have favorite color, color is color. You understand? Because uh, if you love a particular color, your work tends to go towards that way. I don't love any, I don't really say that this color is a particular color that I cherish so much. I use colors. I just pour colors and canvas. And uh, when I see it, it excites me. So there's no particular color I love so much because color is color. I've been to South Africa. I've been to Cape Town. I've been to Joburg, Johannesburg. A uh, lovely place, third, third most beautiful place in Africa. Uh, where I want to go to now is Kenya. I want to visit Kenya because uh, I've heard a lot about Kenya, beautiful place and all that. I want to just visit there and maybe stay there for some time. Uh, Kenya is a good place. There's nothing you do in this world. Once you have a passion, you will succeed. And you have faith and have faith in God. Don't be on the fast lane. Just do your thing, be happy what you do. The right person will come for you because you're doing the right thing. Mm -hmm.